Hello everybody, welcome to this simple tutorial. My name is Edwin Edewo, and in this tutorial, I'm going to be sharing with you how you can easily edit your prices uh, for your paperback books on Amazon KDP so that you continue to enjoy your royalties. Now, if you are somebody who's published on Amazon, you definitely have gotten an email that's exactly like the one you're seeing on my screen right now. Um, where Amazon shares with you that um, prices are going to be changing or going to be increasing or the costs are going to change by June 20th. So if you're watching this video right now, hopefully you still have some time before the prices would change. Um, if you are somebody who's watching this after June 20th and you haven't actually um, edited your paperback to reflect these changes, you probably have found out that when you make sales, your royalties have either reduced or gone to zero, and we don't want that to happen. Um, so the reason why these prices have changed by Amazon is simply because uh, there's an increase in fixed cost for paperback and hardcover books to cover you know, the high cost of material. So basically, Amazon is increasing the prices that they normally charge for printing. What this basically means is if normally after publishing your book, you find out that printing costs used to be like $2.16, Maybe it's gone up to about $3, maybe more. We still don't know yet because the changes haven't been enacted as at the time of this video. Um, but as we begin to publish after the new changes have um, come, we will see what the real true prices are. But for now, what is important is that in order to for you to continue receiving your royalties, you want to make sure that you go to your books every single book that you've published on Amazon and increase the price. Now, if you're somebody who has a stationary business or you publish multiple books on Amazon, I know that it can be a bit of a drag because some of us have dozens, maybe even hundreds of books that would need to increase the prices for those books. But in order for you to actually ensure that you keep getting paid for your books once you make a sale, you have to actually go into your KDP accounts and increase the prices for all these books, okay? So um, what I advise for you, though, is that you want to go through your entire book log or your bookshelf and find those particular books that make more sales more often and start with those ones first. All right. So that you have enough time to be able to, you know, enact changes for the other books. But you, your most or your best selling books are still able to get you income because you're able to work with those ones first. All right. So um, I'm going to show you exactly how to do that in case you're wondering how to actually change your prices. A lot of people don't know that after you publish a book on Amazon, you can actually change your prices. For example, this is my book published under my name, Edwin Dewa, the Agency of Ebook Publishing. It's a nonfiction book. It used to be about $8 when I initially published uh, in 2017, but I have gradually increased the prices since then. Okay. Now, um, I'm going to show you how to enact changes for another book. So this is another book on that stationary brand that I own called Fun for Kids. This is a brand where I publish um, children's books, children's activity books, story books, and all those kinds of books, okay? And I have them in paperback. Um, this book was published in 2021, and um, I literally made it in about an hour or so and um, published it in October, just before the Christmas rush. And it's, book, it's a book for kids aged three to 12, and it's been one of my really good bestsellers. As you can see right now, the book is currently about $6.99 in the US store, which is where I'm published. I'm published on amazon.com. So what you want to do is you go to your backend, you go to kdp.amazon.com. If you're on the amazon.com marketplace, if you're on the Amazon UK marketplace, it's gonna be kdp.amazon.co.uk. So wherever you're watching from, wherever you, uh, created your Amazon KDP account, you want to sign into your bookshelf there, and then you see all your books that you published. So what I want to do is I will go to the book that I want to change or edit, and I come to these three tiny dots on the side where I can actually do the changes so I can see edit print book details, book content, book pricing, and so on and so forth. All I want to do is just change the price. I don't want to change the content. I don't want to change the details. I just want to change the pricing. So I just go to edit print book pricing. So I click on that. And it should take me to literally the third half or the third part of uh, the book as if I'm, I'm about to republish again. So all I do is I just scroll down. So as you see, my territories are still all territories because I want my book available everywhere. Um, 
now you can see here at the bottom it tells you gives you the the hint again that printing costs are going to change uh, on june 20th as you can see here there's now there's now a new minimum normally my minimum was five dollars and 38 cents um when i was publishing this book but now because the prices have increased you now see that the new minimum has gone up by almost two whole dollars from 538 to 710 so this should give you an idea of how much you should be increasing your book by so as a rule of thumb um what i advised members of my um, newsletter to do is you want to add at least 50 percent of what the price used to be before so for example if your book is six dollars you want to add three dollars to make it nine dollars to account for the increase in price okay so my book is six dollars 99 cents it uh, tells me that my minimum should be $7.10. Um, what I want to do now, I'm applying that rule of thumb is, so if this book is approximately $7, I need to add an extra $3.50. So $3.50 is going to give me about $10.99, okay? $10.99 plus um, um, actually going to be $11.50. 49 cents okay eleven dollars and 49 cents so I'm going to change my pricing here to 11 and 49 okay so it's going to check all my cost factors and then I'm going to be able to see how much my royalty would be so um if I'm going to be publishing at uh uh in Amazon or people are going to be buying my book in Amazon at 60 percent royalty rate the print cost here is now $2.84, as you can see. The print cost is still is $2.84, so it's only slightly increased by a few cents. However, um, the max has really, really increased. So now that I have changed my prices, you can now see that um, it's now going to be $4.05 for royalties for this particular book, which isn't so bad, okay? Initially, it used to be $4.74 uh, uh, with the previous um, rates. Now it's about $4.05, which isn't so bad. My book sells very well, so I'm able to actually get quite a lot, okay? So um, this is it. Once I change the price here, usually it should affect every other price here so you'd see the new changes um here okay so every other marketplace that my book is published to there'll be an increase in price or a change in price so i can see the new prices um after the book goes up so as you can see here if my book sells between now and the 20th of june i'm going to be getting four dollars and 74 cents but after the 20th of june when the printing cost increases it's going to go to four dollars and five cents okay so um that is it so all i need to do is scroll all the way to the bottom and i click publish your paperback book so it may take a while but since it's just um, a simple edit it's only going to probably take a few hours for the new prices to reflect i'm not necessarily publishing the book um all over again i'm not i'm not changing the content i'm not changing any other thing inside the book it's just a price so usually this price um would be enacted within a few hours, okay? And this is exactly how you are able to change the prices for your book. So my book has gone up from $6.99 to $11.49 so that I will still continue to receive the royalties. Remember, as a rule of thumb, you want to increase the price by about 50% of the original or the previous price it was before. That way you're still able to get good royalties or good returns on your book. So this is it, straight to the point, simple as is. When your book, um, the price has been submitted, you should get an email to tell you that your book is, your paperback is now live. If you don't get an email within a couple of hours, you can always come back to check if the price has changed or if the changes have been enacted, okay? So that's it. Thank you so much for watching. If you would like to get your book published on Amazon, whether it's your actual non-fiction book or your fiction books, or you want to start a stationary business and create activity books like this or journals or planners or even blank notebooks make sure that you hit the description in this video to check out my course the amazon printed profits course in this course i teach you how to you know oh this is 
a different one. In this course in Amazon Printed Profits, I show you how you can publish ebooks, workbooks, planners, and journals onto Amazon and how to actually publish them and paperback and make a lot of money um, as well. Okay. So the very first video is absolutely free and we're currently running a discount. So instead of getting it at $120, you can get it at $20 or it's equivalent in your currency. The very first video is free, so you can check it out. Make sure that you watch it and um, I would love to hear what you think about it. Okay. And if you already have books on Amazon and you're not selling and you're wondering how to increase traffic to your book on Amazon, how to run Amazon ads, you definitely want to get the Amazon printer Amazon Traffic Secrets course, okay? Also, we're running a discount on this particular course. It shows you how to build and drive free and paid traffic to your books on Amazon, how to set and run Amazon ads, how to run Instagram and Facebook ads, and even secret systems to increase the amount of books that people can buy on Amazon uh, when they check your book, okay? So um, thank you so much again for watching this video. If you are watching this on YouTube, be sure to like and subscribe this video, share it with somebody who would need it and check the description for the links to the courses you're seeing on the screen and links to more of my videos on how to set up a stationary business on Amazon and all things Amazon tutorials, okay? Thank you again for watching. I will see you in another video.